So the UK succeeded from the EU today, which means quite a loss for charities in the United Kingdom. Specifically Oxfam, one of the largest charities in the UK, is slated to lose an estimated 39 million that it regularly received from the EU. If you're not familiar with Oxfam, Oxfam is one of the original fair trade advocates and does poverty reduction related activities and programs around the world. This goes to show that even the most stable stream of funding can become volatile and non-existent very quickly. My take on this is that every non-government organization or NGO should diversify the best they can the way they receive funding and also their funding sources and not purely rely on large donors. In Oxfam's defense, Oxfam has actually quite diversified. They founded the first fair trade label in the UK, uh, Cafe International, and it has done quite well. It makes up about 33 to 35% of coffee sales in the UK, coffee and drink sales. So they're probably gonna be okay, but for smaller NGOs, that are hoping that their grants come through every day and that people in the developing world are relying on, I urge you to diversify the way you receive funding. Why do I say this? Because I have witnessed firsthand in my travels in Guatemala what happens when your funding is not diversified and you lose your primary donors. The economics of an entire community or group go from being volatile but sustainable to completely unsustainable very quickly. I'm Russell Brown, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.